Hey guys, it is Sarah and it is time for a dreaded <laughs> blush and highlight declutter. I say dreaded because these are two of my favorite categories. I live for cheek products. I think they're so fun. I love trying different shades and formulas, but I just have way too many. I've realized I have more than I could ever use up before at least a few of them would go bad. So I think the smart thing for me to do right now is to pass on some things to friends or family. This is everything I have. I have mainly singles, but I do have a couple of duos and a cheek palette that I actually just recently got uh, in PR, but this is what we're working with. I'm gonna do highlighters first and then blushes. And I do wanna say in case you're new to my channel, my declutters are typically not the kind of declutters where I'm getting rid of like 50% or more of my products. It's just not really what works for me. I much prefer to actually use things up rather than get rid of them. But in a situation like this, I feel like it is necessary to declutter. I do still think I will get rid of a pretty decent sized handful of things. So let's go ahead and get into the highlighters. All right, so these are all of my highlighters except for the ones that are in either like a duo or a palette with a blush. I decided to just include those with my blushes. So I think the way I wanna do this is Cream and liquid first and then powder. One that I know I'm not getting rid of is the Oma Double Take Contour and Highlight Stick. I love both the highlight and the contour in here and this is um, kind of a rose gold highlight that isn't duplicated by any of my other highlights at all. So that one is for sure gonna stay. Another two that are kind of similar both in packaging and in shade are the Ulta Face Highlighting Color Stick in Pixie Dust and the Jordana Glow & Go Creamy Strobing Stick in Pearl Glow. This one is almost brand new. I bought this last year. And then the Ulta one, this was actually in my Project Pan for a while last year. The Ulta one is a little bit pinker than the Jordana one, but they're super similar and I really don't need to keep both, especially because I don't love the stick format for highlighter, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Ulta one because I've already used a ton of this up and pass on the Jordana one while it's still virtually brand new. I only have one like potted cream highlighter. This is the All Good Get Glowing in the shade Shimmer. And this is such a pretty like glossy highlighter. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's mainly just super glossy. Kind of like a barely there highlighter. You can't even really tell you're wearing highlighter, but it gives a lot of glow. So I am going to keep this one because I like it a lot. Then I have three liquid highlighters. The Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I've actually already used a lot of this and I feel like I could realistically pan this if I wanted to. The e.l.f liquid highlighter. I don't think this has a shade name. That's another really glossy highlighter, but it has a lot more of a pearly glow to it. And then the Cloven Halo Hydra Glow in Galaxy. That one is very pink toned. I think I do wanna keep the Becca one cause I can see myself panning this. Okay, I'm having a really hard time choosing between these two. I really kinda wanna keep both. For now I'm gonna keep these and then I'm gonna see how I do throughout the rest of this declutter. I've been a lot more into cream and liquid highlighters lately than I have been into um, powder ones. So, I don't mind keeping more uh, cream options right now. All right, so next we have powder highlighters. One that I'm actually thinking about letting go of, and I feel like this might be surprising because this is one of my favorites. I love this formula, um, I love the shade, but I'm actually thinking about letting go of this Becca highlighter in Rose Quartz. Number one, I didn't pay for this. I did receive this in PR through Octoly last year. And number two, I am trying not to support Estee Lauder companies, which Becca is. Um, I'll link below an article that explains why, but if I have a choice between this brand and other brands to keep, I think I would prefer to pass this one on, especially because it is so new. I know that might be surprising because I've talked about this being one of my favorites and I will really miss it, but honestly, like I said, I've been reaching more for cream highlighters lately anyway, just as my skin has been um, having a lot of texture recently. So I also have Champagne Pop and this one I have Major Pan in. Um, and this one I would like to try to completely use up at some point. So I'm gonna keep Champagne Pop and get rid of Rose Quartz. This Ofra one in Retrograde, I am gonna keep because it's just such a fun color. I don't have any other purple highlighters in my collection. And I like that I can mix it with a more champagne color to get something a little bit less bold. Um, so that one I am going to keep. Um, I have these two from Aether in the shades Pure Diamond Dust and Pink Diamond Dust. 
I love both of these so much. These are kind of sparkly highlighters, but I don't mind it because I think they sit on my skin really beautifully despite being kind of sparkly. I don't feel like they accentuate texture too much for me, so I'm going to keep both of those. This is ColourPop Super Shock in Monster. This is the only duochrome highlighter that I own, so I am going to keep that one. Um, and then the Estate highlighter in Lit. This was sent to me recently as well. This is a new brand I hadn't really heard of until they reached out to me and they are um, Leaping Bunny certified cruelty free which I thought was cool. So I thought I'd give them a try but this is their Do Me highlight in Lit um, and I actually really like this a lot <laughs> so I'm gonna keep that. Alright so so far I'm not doing so hot in the highlighter department. Dang I didn't realize this would be so hard. Um, I've only gotten rid of these two so far. I'm trying to think what else I can let go of. I feel like I could let go of this Ulta highlighter stick, even though I've made a lot of progress on it. I don't love this as much as I used to, maybe just because I kind of got sick of it last year trying to use it up, but this is how much I have left. And I feel like I'm just more inclined to reach for other highlighters. This Oma one is also pink toned, but I like it a little bit better, so I think I am going to let go of this Ulta one. Like I said, I don't love the stick format unless it's something really creamy like the Oma. So I'm going to let go of that too. Um, okay, and I think I can also get rid of this e.l.f. liquid highlighter. This, like I said, is very glossy, similar to the All Good Get Glowing. This one does have a little more pearlescence to it, but I kind of just prefer the cream format over the liquid. So I think I am going to let go of that too just because... I was really hoping to get rid of more than just two. So that brings the get rid of number up to four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And keeping ten, not including the handful that I have in like duos and a face palette. So that's that's much better. All right, so next we have blushes. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard. I do love blush. So first, let's see. One that I know I'm not getting rid of is this Wet n Wild Blush in Rosé Champagne, only because I am so close to being done with it, I'm not backing down now. <laughs> this one, I, I gotta see it through to the end. And I also really like this blush. Another one I know I'm not getting rid of is the Cloven Hello Hydra Tint in Blossom. This is my favorite blush in my entire collection. Beautiful blush, keeping that. Also, can't let go of my Flower Blush Balm and Pinch. This is another one of my favorite liquid blush formulas. Kind of similar formula to the Cloven Hello one. Very just easy and effortless. Love that. This was just sent to me. This is the Aether Beauty Crystal Charged Cheek Palette in Amber. I'm actually really liking this so far, especially this blush I've been wearing the past couple days. Really pretty. Um, so this is definitely gonna stay because it's so new to me and I'm really falling in love with Aether Beauty. I think they're just an amazing brand. So this one right here, I think it might be time to let go of this. This is the Terramare Mineral Blush in Rosie. I think this, this is the last product that I still own from this brand. I really like this blush, but I just don't reach for loose blushes. I think I've just concluded that. I don't feel like the shade is that unique to me. Let's see, let's watch this with a similar shade that I have. So one that I found that is similar, this is actually another one from Estate. This is their Do Me. This is actually one of their highlighters, but it's really a blush to me. It's just a glowy blush in the shade Exposed. Um, that is another kind of glowy blush similar to that loose Terramare one, but because it is a pressed formula, I'm just way more likely to use it. And I feel like even though they're not the same shade by any means, that's those two right there, they're gonna have a very similar effect on my cheeks. So I'm gonna keep the Estate one and finally let go of this Terramare one. These are the only two like potted cream blushes I have. These are also from that All Good brand. This is their Get Glowing Cheek Tints in Coral and Jam. And I really like both of these. Um, they also have SPF 15 in them, which is just a nice added bonus. Um, but this is Coral, and this is Jam. I'm definitely keeping both of these, but I also want to see what else I have that is similar to these, so maybe there are other things I can let go of. I feel like this Jordana... Ooh, this Jordana Stick Blush in Spicy Rose is actually pretty similar to Jam. It's a little bit more brownish 
than Jam, but I feel like on the cheeks they're gonna look pretty similar. This is also pretty new. I bought it just last year, same time that I bought the stick highlight, and I would prefer to pass things on with while they're really new. So let's do that. So yeah, gonna keep both of these all good ones. I just really like this brand and I like the concept of these. I think I do want to keep this Annabelle Perfect Cream Blush in the shade Subtle Coral. Um, I really like how bright this one is. It's beautiful for the summertime. I also love the formula. And I enjoy having um, this brand in my collection because it's a Canadian brand and it's not every day you hear people talking about Canadian brands. So isn't that pretty? I cannot wait to pull this out in like the spring and summer. And then the e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick in Glistening Peach is also gorgeous. This is, I feel like, a really underrated product from e.l.f. But this is a very glowy blush. I don't have a whole lot of glowy blushes like this. And I think once I'm done with my Wet n Wild blush, I'll be really happy to have this because it's a similar kind of peachy, glowy, golden blush. Um, and this is another thing that I th am thinking about eventually putting in my project pan this year because there's really not a whole lot left in there. So it's time to talk about this Milani powder blush in Romantic Rose. It's one of the few things that I've had for five years, um, which really isn't that old for a powder product. However, I'm not as in love with this formula as I once was. I've just kind of realized as I've tried more blush formulas that this is very dry. Um, it doesn't swatch well, it never has, which that isn't that big of a deal for a blush especially, but there's that. And on top of that, I feel like my CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Natural Twinkle, which is a similar kind of tone. It's a little bit, even a little bit plummier than the CoverGirl one, or than the Milani one. But I do think that they give a similar effect. And then also, this one from e.l.f. in the shade Lychee is much newer to my collection, and this one is a little bit warmer, but once again, I think on my cheeks, they're all gonna look pretty similar. Plus, I have a kind of neutral toned liquid blush from Co Cloven Hallow that I love. So I, I really don't think I'm gonna miss this one because I just have other shades in my collection that are super similar. I've already gotten a ton of use out of this and it being so old just kind of makes me ready to move on. <laughs> I do plan to keep these final three. This is Elf's Bite Size Duo in Cantaloupe. This is such a fun color. I don't have anything like this. This is like a pastel orange. So pretty. Um, so unique. The highlight is not that unique to my collection compared to my other highlighters, but um, I enjoy having it. It's a nice like peachy highlighter. And this one, the highlighter in here I actually use is more of a blush topper because it's too dark for my skin tone. I actually like mixing it with that blush. But that's just a really pretty duo there. And I think I'll be able to appreciate these more now that I am letting go of a couple of blushes that I just don't need to hold on to. All right, so I got rid of three blushes. That leaves me with 13, counting the two in here as individuals. So that's not fantastic, but it's better than it was. And also keep in mind this Wet n Wild one is going to be gone soon, within like a month or two. Um, just because like that's literally all that's left in there. So all right, so I ended up reorganizing everything back in the drawer and I actually switched out my organizers. So I was using this like black broken little organizer tray, which was working okay, but I felt like some of these compartments were just a little bit awkwardly small. Um, so I switched it out for these, which I already had. These are little like metal organizers. I have three of them that I got forever ago in the office supply section at Dollar Tree. I actually think this is working a lot better. So up front here, I have three of my face powders and then I have two smaller ones right here. And then these are my two contour sticks and my two bronzers. Then in this middle row, I have highlighters. So I have my cream and liquid highlighters up here and actually only have three of those. Well, actually four if you count the Oma one. I figured since lately I prefer creams, I would have those up front. Then I have powders here. So I do wish that these were a little smaller, especially the Ofer one. This is just such a bulky packaging and I could depot this, it is magnetic, but I just don't really want to. I don't think I have room in any of my magnetic palettes. So that'll stay like that for now. And then three of my smaller powder highlights back here. And then these are my blushes. So I've got, again, cream and liquid blushes in the front half and then my powder blushes back here. And then I have this one 
cheek palette from Aether that fits perfectly right there. This just looks so much more organized and satisfying to me now. And I am happy with what I got rid of, even though I know it's not a ton. Um, I feel like this is still a very reasonably sized collection. And like I said at the beginning, I really didn't expect to get rid of a crazy amount of stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this declutter video. I know I feel so much better after this and I'm actually just so excited to use what I have now because I feel like I can see everything. I know exactly what I have and I'm not going to be overlooking things because I just have too much stuff and I'm overwhelmed. So um, if you do like declutter videos, I will link my declutter playlist below. I have quite a few declutters that I've done on my channel over the past couple of years. And if you've not already subscribed, I'd love to have you stick around. I upload two to three times a week, so I'd love to see you back soon, and hopefully I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.